Hi everyone, I'm Melanie. Welcome to my channel. I call it Krakenosh. I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, my videos and why I do them. So um, basically I love um, watching stuff and if I see something that I really admire that I think is cool, I want to see if I can do it as well. So that's one of the main reasons why um, I try new things. Um, also I'm a stay at home mum. Being out in the shed is a way I can procrastinate against the things that I should be doing. I'm sure you'll do a bit of that. Um, it's much more interesting than scrubbing toilets and doing the washing, which are necessary evils of course, but it's one of the reasons I also get out the house and try my hand at new stuff because it's fun versus what I have to do. And I also don't get a lot of um, uh, time to spend with people, so um, because I'm a stay-at-home mum, there's no real community as such that I can tie into. I'm on my own at home quite a lot. Not that that's a bad thing, but um, as a human being, you need to integrate yourself um, with other people just to um, stay happy and get feedback on what you do and live a really rewarding life. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is... Uh, safety is um, a really big priority. Probably should have been my first one, not because anything happened um, bad, but um, at one stage I was cutting with a miter saw um, or chop saw as you call it. Um, for those of you who are not sure what that is, it's just a saw you pull down and it makes a straight cut. And I didn't quite go through the entire piece of wood and as I lifted the miter saw back up the blade just caught on the bit of wood and kind of flicked up a little bit. It didn't hurt me, it didn't fling out, it just really scared me. Um, I thought whoa that's not normal, did I do something wrong, what have I done, maybe I shouldn't try this, I'm not that experienced, like, all the fear kicks in. So what I decided to do is go back inside, um, check out you know, basics 101, how to use a miter saw familiarize myself with um, all my power tools in my shed and that know-how gave me some confidence really uh, to continue to use my power tools in a safe way uh, particularly when I don't use them all the time and I'm not really that acquainted with them. Um, the next thing obviously protect yourself eyes, ears and of course some sort of ventilation that leads me to a really funny story. Um, I was in our local hardware store with my son and we had the, our trolley loaded up um, with bits and pieces that I probably shouldn't have been spending any money on but there was a guy there and um, I had my trolley on the side with all my stuff in it and um, me and my son were bending down looking for um, a um, particular drill bit down low and um, this guy must have thought my trolley was like a bargain bin because he started looking through it and I sort of looked at my son and went oh, and decided we'll just let him go and have a look through it um, but he took ages he was picked up um, a dust mask um, that I wanted to buy and he was reading the back of it for probably a good two to three minutes it doesn't seem like a long amount of time but I wanted to go to the other side of the tool section in the hardware store so I decided to say to the guy they're good, aren't they? About the to you know break the ice um, with what he was reading about my dust mask, and he kind of looked at me like, "What do you want?" But then he said, "Yeah, actually, I'm I'm really interested in. Doesn't really say um, what type of um, airborne particles this mask protects you from." And anyway, we got to talking, um, and. He said a really good line to me that helped persuade me to buy the dust mask. Um, it was a fairly considerable price. It was about 55 um, Australian dollars, which is a fairly considerable amount. And I told him I just got kind of like a $10 uh, dust mask that I bought. And he sort of looked at me and his wisdom was probably sort of, I don't know, maybe 60s, mid 60s. And he looked at me and said, you know what they say? $10 mask for a $10 head and that just uh, hit the nail on the head really so I ended up picking myself um, up one of these dust masks it's got proper removable um, ventilation caps that you can just replace after a certain amount of time and it protects you from a wide range of airborne um, particles that get in and uh, do damage to your airways and your lungs um, yeah so 
I'm learning lots from the awesome videos that you guys produce. Um, please keep them coming. Um, everything from beginner to um, really advanced stuff. It's all um, informative and really inspirational. The only advice I'd have for um, new starters such as myself would be check out the safety videos. Um, not necessarily safety really, just how to use your stuff. Um, in a safe way and the proper way and make sure you understand those things before you get out in your shared shop, garage, spare bedroom, whatever you have to do your stuff. Um, because like I said, that'll give you the confidence to use the tools in the right way, make less mistakes and don't lose a finger, an arm, an eye or scare yourself in the process and scaring yourself just reduces your confidence and it may um, dissuade you from you know picking up the tool and, and really giving a go at what you love so I hope you enjoy the videos that I produce uh, feel free to leave a comment um, add some suggestions to um, new starters like myself and I hope you enjoy it and learn something because that's a real reason um, I want to do this is to just pass on um, stuff that I've made and ideas that I have to you guys um, because although you might not think it at the time um, every idea I've seen that's inspired me has come from a really um, common problem and you've provided a really basic inexpensive solution that really anyone can do with li very limited um, tools or money or space to do them so enough blathering on, um, if you uh, like what you see, please subscribe and uh, yeah, hope to see you back again soon. Catch you later.